I'm the Cantor Educator at Or Kodesh Congregation in Chevy Chase, Maryland. I lead services and I attend minions and teach people how to lead services and help teach to read Torah. And in the educator piece of my position, I run the religious school and I consult on many of the other things that happen in the education department here. The Jewish Studio Project is a new nonprofit. We launched it about 10 months ago based in Berkeley, California. And our goal is to activate the creativity inherent in individuals and communities. I'm the head of school at the Solomon Schechter Day School of Greater Hartford in West Hartford, Connecticut. The work that I did at Hebrew College was in creating a curriculum for middle school students on modern Jewish thought. And that grew in me a passion and a desire to want to make Jewish education a far more meaningful experience for students, uh, for adults as well, but my focus has uh, primarily been on sort of the young adolescent. The community that I found in my ESSER group was really important to me, and I wanted to help grow the program, because when I participated, it was the first year that the program was getting off the ground. So I joined the committee for ESSER and then helped facilitate groups and got to the point where I got to create my own ESSER group um, and run it this past fall, which was really exciting for me. For the last five years plus, I've split my time between the um, Hillel at Kent State University here in Kent, Ohio, and um, with the Lipman Canfer Foundation for Living Torah, which is a private family foundation located in Akron, Ohio, which is about 20 minutes away from here. And for them, I serve as director of Jewish and organizational learning. To me, a leader is somebody who is making sure that they're providing a supportive environment for people so that they are pushing themselves um, to go past their comfort zones and to learn kind of in the most optimal surroundings. Hebrew College is such a special place because everyone has their own Jewish path. There's no ideology that everyone is subscribing to and so there's genuine diversity in the classroom and that environment of being together, looking at the same text, working through the same text together, but genuinely coming at it from diverse perspectives created such an important learning environment for, certainly for me and I think for other people as well. I wouldn't be the professional I am today if I hadn't graduated and been ordained by Hebrew College. The faculty really impacted me during my studies. The array of different people I interacted with were remarkable. The classmates I had, I will add, were also remarkable because they were from such different backgrounds and I learned a lot from my classmates as well. You know, I always say if Hebrew College didn't exist, I don't know if I would have gone to rabbinical school. It's really a special, special place. During my first year of studying all of these traditional commentators and very, very learned scholars and rabbis, I wondered, what is the way that I can add my unique voice and that I can help this next generation to add their unique voices? So I created a practice called Movement Minion at Hebrew College and tried to open up all different forms of using um, visual arts as a way to sort of activate and um, incite new stories that we could bring to the text to help the tradition continue to be alive and vibrant and meaningful today. The experiences that I had at Hebrew College uh, for sure opened my eyes to the depth of what Judaism had to offer and it also encouraged me to move forward and seek opportunities that had not been laid out before me, that there had been great work done in order to allow me to get there, but that now it was my time to sort of step up and seize ideas and thoughts to move them forward and create opportunities not just for myself but for the community that I serve. I think it is probably one of the most exciting things in the Jewish world to be able to support right now. The people who are coming out of Hebrew College and the things that they are doing are diverse and they're interesting and they're 
intellectually grounded and they're spiritually alive and working with communities sort of across the board. I hope that there are people who are as happy and content with their professional lives and their spiritual lives as I have been as a result of the education I got at Hebrew College. For those of you who generously support Hebrew College, I for sure am indebted as an alum. I'm just really appreciative that people are committed to making sure that the community thrives. I want to thank everyone who has supported the college in, in so many different ways.